Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 11th of June, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Markets. To lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. US markets last night managed to eke out small cautious gains to start the week, with the Fed beginning its two-day rate decision meeting and inflation data pending. Tomorrow's a massive day for market sentiment, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, U.S. futures just below neutral in Asian trading. Asian equity markets are mixed. Of course, some were shut yesterday. The ASX being one of those. And he's really getting belted in early trading, down over 1.4% with materials. The underperforming sector by around about 2.5% as a sector. Uh, and that, of course, is on the back of those commodity price drops we saw at the back end of last week. And, of course, with it being shut yesterday, we're playing a bit of catch-up. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open as the US market moved up slightly, subsequent to the European market close last night. And the US dollar index still closed to the upside, but paired much of its early gains. Slightly positive in Asia uh, against the yen, we note. Gold, however, despite breaching 2300, the previous day had a slight recovery yesterday and is sitting just above that key psychological level. Uh, copper also bounced off support after last week's strong selling, uh, but again, doesn't look particularly bullish at this stage. However, there was a strong session for oil as that bounce continues and pushed significantly higher. Bitcoin is still pausing around 70,000. Not much coming out today. There's the UK jobs data out and we've got the OPEC monthly report. Really, those are the only two things that might have market moving potential and would tend to have a local impact, i.e. on the GB pound and the oil futures. Tomorrow, as I said, is massive. We've got CPI data coming out of the US, China and Germany. And of course, the culmination of that FOMC meeting with the US rate decision and subsequent press conference. Lots for the markets to digest. Maybe a day where portion is the order of the day. Well, let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. The euro yen's looking interesting. I've put the 30 minute chart on here, trading currently around about 169.34. You can see how this is the R1 pivot level. And we think also due to this price action previously at this level, uh, there could be a move up to test this R2 level at 169.73. Look at the last few times, it's been in this range. We can see it's moved straight up and straight down. Straight up, straight down, straight down, straight up. So it is aligning for a potential 40 bit move to the upside. Really slim pickings on the ASX. Uh, Webjet has managed to hold its own uh, just under that $9 level, or 890 appears to be the resistance. So we're still waiting for a breach of that. Although we're at the highs of the session, it doesn't look likely that that's going to happen today unless there's a late rally in the day. So I want to keep on your radar the last hour and, of course, into tomorrow. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.